What's going on, y'all? It's TKJ. Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate sure for stopping by, man. Today, I'm going to rebuild the team and try to win a championship, but we're going to do something a little bit differently. I'm going to be doing an all time draft with everybody in their prime. So, we're going to have Michael Jordan. We're going to have Kobe Bryant. We're going to have Magic Johnson, Larry Bird. I mean, you guys get the deal. I'm actually going to get to make all my picks this time. So, we'll do the entire draft and then I'll rebuild this team and try to win a championship. This should be a lot of fun, man. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't. I'm trying to get the 3K subs. So every single like, every single sub really does go a long way and I would appreciate it. But, anyways, man, without any further ado, it's time to get into this video. Let's get it. Alrighty, let's go ahead and see what team we're gonna get. We're randomly selecting this in three, two, and in one. As we got the Charlotte Hornets. Okay, let's go ahead and see what pick we're gonna get. As um, we have pick number four. Let's get it. Okay, so we are gonna miss out on like LeBron James and uh, Michael Jordan, Kareem. That makes sense. But what else do we got here, man? Now let me just say this real quick. Obviously, I'm trying to build the best team possible and win a championship. But at the same time, man, I'm also gonna go with some guys. So I just want on my team. So like, even though Jokic is a top guy on the board, he's a current player. We get him all the time. So we're not gonna do that. Let's go ahead and see what else there is. There's Larry Bird. Uh, Bill Russell, Magic Johnson. I think you guys know who I'm going to get here. It's going to be Kobe Bryant. 98 overall, 26 years old. It's 2K24. He's the cover athlete. It just makes sense, right? Kobe Bryant, welcome to the team, man. I feel really good about that. Let's go ahead and keep this thing moving as uh, we're going to kind of speed run all the picks that aren't ours, obviously. But uh, yeah, we do have a little bit of a wait since we were a high pick. Um, but it is what it is. I mean, it's an all-time draft. Take a look at the second round picks, guys. There's still people who are like a 96, 95 overall. So either way, we're going to get some good players. But anyways, now it's our pick. Let's go ahead and see what's out there. So there's Jimmy Butler. There's also Patrick Ewing. Uh, we got James Worthy. We got Jason Kidd, Isaiah Thomas. Let's see. We also got the glove here, Gary Payton. Um, and then there's Russell Westbrook. Now he's a 95 overall. So I'm guessing this is like triple double MVP Russ. And I'm not going to lie. That sounds pretty cool. Obviously, he's a really ball dominant guy. Same for Kobe Bryant. But again, man, this isn't like a super realistic team. I'm not really thinking about fit like too, too much. I'm just trying to build a fun team and it's not like russ is a bad playmaker i think that would be a really cool duo so we're gonna go russell westbrook here let's go ahead and make that pick and um, we actually have our next one coming up too uh pretty soon here so let's go ahead and take a look at that as um jimmy butler is still on the board honestly man what if i just build a team of like guys with that mama mentality you know we got kobe bryant obviously but we got russell westbrook jimmy butler would be a really nice fit here and we do need a small forward so i think that is a pretty good pickup obviously there's some other good guys i mean it's james worthy like we said there's it bill walton i didn't mention him either but yeah i think i really like the idea of like that mama mentality team obviously there's also Devin Booker has that connection with Kobe but if we're just talking about play on the floor I feel like Jimmy Butler fits that a little bit better that's just my opinion and we need a small forward maybe I'll trade for D-Book later I'm not too sure but either way Jimmy Butler welcome to the team and um, I feel really good about that so far so anyways let's go ahead and speed run the rest of this thing I'm going to kind of cut out these dead parts here let's go ahead and take a look at our next pick now so we're here round number four we definitely do need a big man I see Artis Gilmore 93 overall there's also Marcus All 93 too um let's see there's the Kembe Mutombo that's pretty interesting 92 overall 32 years old I think out of this group I'd rather have Marcus All because we do have a modern team right now we got Kobe Bryant. We got Russell Westbrook. We got Jimmy Butler. I kind of want to keep that theme. And if that's the case, I want a big and space the floor. Obviously, Gilmore and Matumbo can't do that. So let's go ahead and get Marcus All. I think that's a pretty good pick. Now we're looking for like a small forward, power forward. And I do see the Matrix, Sean Marion. I think that would be pretty cool. Let's see what else is out there. Um, there's Ray John Rondo, someone who kind of has that mama mentality. Um, let's see what else is there though. There's also Tim Hardaway. There's John Wall. That would be pretty nice off the bench. Same for Jalen Brown and Trey Young. But I think I do want to go with Sean Marion here. Let me go to make that pick. Now we're here at round number six, and those guys that we were talking about are still on the board. We got John on wall we got Jalen brown we got trey young shoot we also got kemba walker man in his prime 89 overall when he was killing it with the hornets that's pretty tempting but i think i am gonna go with john wall here 90 overall 29 years old before all the injuries he was one of the best point guards in the nba so we're gonna go with that pick john wall welcome to the team so now we're here and i think this is what like round number seven i'm looking for like a wing player off the bench so uh let's see what is out there i see monster master mom mashburn if i want a bucket i feel like he'd be a pretty good pickup he averaged like 19 or 20 points throughout his career i think he was a one-time all nba selection too so why not jamal mashburn welcome to the team honestly at this point i'm kind of just gonna go with guys with trade value because again this isn't the end all be all i'm able to make trades after this so i guess i'll go with ron harper he's an 89 overall 29 years old why not let's go to make that pick then i'm gonna go with tyree salaburton a nice young player 88 overall 23 years old let's go ahead and do that too hey you know what? we're gonna go even younger and get scoot anderson here even though it's an all-time draft he's gonna have a lot of value i wanted to get victor Wembanyama, but he got picked a little bit early in this round i'm actually pretty hurt about that but either way scoot's a nice pickup let's go to make that happen now we're here at round number 11 i guess i'll go with chris as Zingas. again man i'm kind of just winging it towards the end of this thing so uh yeah let's go ahead and do that brother you lame you shame baddie i'm just literally picking him so i can say that uh yeah let's go with shame baddie here then i'll get scotty barnes another young guy with some value let's go ahead and do that too and with my final pick i'll go with white chocolate jason williams let's go ahead and do that man and that's the draft let's go ahead and check out our team now i'm answering the teams looking like russell westbrook kobe bryant jimmy butler sean marion and marcus all out the bench you got john wall we got jamal mashburn ron harper uh tyrese halliburton and then chris asperzingas then we also got some other guys shane baddie we got jason williams and then two young trade pieces and scotty barnes and scoot henderson
man i feel pretty good about this three right here russell westbrook kobe Bryant, and jimmy butler the rest of these guys man honestly i'm not too attached to them so let's look around and see what trades they can do all right man so i think i want to try to get Shaq here like i said i want to build a team with that mama mentality and if we're going to do that we have to have that Shaq and kobe duo the question is how hard is it going to be to trade for Shaq? um i guess we're going to find out here so let's start off with marcus all i guess um i did turn salary cap off but the uh, financial trade rules are still on. So like the money still has to match up, if that makes sense. But anyways, we're gonna add Scoot Henderson here and um, then pretty much just some picks, man. Is that enough to get this thing done? We have a three-star pick, which is pretty good. Let's see if we can get this thing done here. They're saying no, as you would imagine. Um, I did turn off Untouchables as well, or I removed all of them. So Shaq is on the board here. He is available, but it's obviously going to be really tough. They're saying no to it. I probably should have seen that coming. Let me see what else I can do. So it's not a big upgrade, but I guess we'll get Paul Pierce here for Marcus Gasol and Scotty Barnes. That sounds pretty good. Let's go to make that happen. Then I'm going to trade Paul Pierce and Tyrese Halliburton for Gary Payton. He's a 95 overall, so we are moving up here. Then I'm going to trade for some more valuable picks. The Wizards have one that's three stars. Let's go ahead and try to get that from them. Uh, they're saying no, that's pretty tough. I will give you guys another second rounder here. Come on, man. Let's not do this. Please say yes to this. They're still saying no. I don't want to give up another first round pick and I won't have to. That's good. And honestly, this might be a Chico, but there's some really good free agents here. Uh, Yeah, like Johnny Moore. That's an easy deal. Let's go ahead and do that. And now I can trade him for two first round picks. Hey, the game's a game, man. We'll definitely take that. Here's another two first round picks. Redonis has them. I don't know why the Knicks want to do that. I'm not going to say no to it. That's for sure. And then the Pistons have a three star pick. Let's try to get that from them. Um, and they say yes to it. That was easy. Do we have enough for Shaq now? That's a big question. We got Gary Payton, who is a five star but obviously there's like levels to it um then we got scoot anderson and the two most valuable picks in the game will they say yes to this thing and they will shaquille o'neal welcome to the team so now we got russell westbrook kobe bryant jimmy butler sean marion and shaquille o'neal that's a really nice starting five but i don't really think Deshaun fits that like mama mentality mode i mean i'll probably keep him off the bench but i do think i want to trade for a new starter so let me look around and see what that guy's gonna be and you know what man i think it's gonna be Giannis. he's one of those guys that kobe gave a challenge to before he retired when you think about that kobe bryant workout like i mean Giannis on the kumpo is about as close as it gets when it comes to the current players and we do need a power forward so i think this is a good fit obviously we don't have enough for him right now so we definitely got some work to do but let me get back to it so i'm going back to the chico and i'm going to sign some free agents Devin harris let's go to make that happen then i'm going to sign malcolm brogdon let's go to do that too and i guess i'll get fred van vliet let's make that happen and i was going to flip freddy for a first round pick but i see arvita sabonis i don't know why the hawks want to do this but that's a crazy upgrade i can't say no to that and i know i said i wouldn't trade sean marion but i can get george mike in here 94 overall i feel like i have to do that i will say though having the regular glasses on is crazy bro it looks like he just finished teaching a pre cal class but either way i got to do this deal also we're getting jason terry which is cool let's go to make that happen that's a done deal and hey the trade finder's doing his thing man we can get jerry west for george mike and ron harper and a first round pick i think that gets us really close to Giannis. let's go ahead and do that trade i don't think they will say yes it is but jerry west for Giannis on the kumpo straight up it's the same value same overall let's go ahead and see what they say um no they're saying no that makes sense what if i give you arvita sabonis and um let's see will they say yes to that they're saying no i've got this first round pick which i can't throw in i don't know what's up with that but uh, two seconds here, and they're still saying no. That's totally fine. I think we are close. We just need some more first round picks. So let me get back to it. Here's two first round picks from Malcolm Brogdon. That's definitely a finesse. We'll take that. I can get two more first round picks from Devin Harris. We'll take that too. And then here's two more first round picks of Rudy Gay and a second. That's a no brainer. Let's get that done. I think we do have enough now. Jerry West and two first round picks. Will they say yes? Uh, they're saying no. I'll give you guys another first round pick here. They're still saying no. Come on, man. Let's get this thing done. They're still saying no. Uh, do I have one more first round pick? I do. Is that enough to get Giannis on the Kumpo? And it's not. That's surprising. Uh, let's see. What else can I give you here? Not Kobe Bryant. Let's see. I will give you guys um, Arvita Sabonis. And let me save like a first round pick. They're still saying no. Okay, fine. I'll give you guys one more first rounder here. And there it is. Giannis on the Kumpo. Welcome to the team. And that's our starting five, man. We got Russell Westbrook, Kobe Bryant, Jimmy Butler, Giannis on the Kumpo, and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm just not realizing we have like no three point shooting. So that's a little bit of a concern. But like I said, it's not going to be a perfect fit. I just want to do the whole mama mentality thing. But I do want to get some three point shooters out the bench. So like John Wall isn't really a good fit anymore. Jamal Mashburn is. That's nice. Uh, Chris Saps definitely is. Jason Terry too. Shane Batty. I mean, we do have some three point shooting. But I do still want to make a couple upgrades. So let me look around to see what's out there before we do that though assign some free agents jj reddick i'm gonna trade him for two first round picks i mean you guys get the deal at this point like here's another two for daryl armstrong we'll definitely take that and we can get the same thing for vernon maxwell let's do that too so like i said at the very beginning i think devin booker would be a good fit here obviously fits that mama mentality and he's a good three-point shooter we definitely need that so uh let's try john wall not a good three-point shooter and a bunch of first round picks will they say yes to this and they will wow that was a lot easier than i thought it'd be could i have saved a few picks i don't really know but i'll still take it and i think all i need at this point is a backup center preferably one against space the floor because obviously shaq is our star 
starter. Obviously, Louis Dampier is in that, but I think he would be a nice trade piece. And we're getting a first round pick. It's only going to cost us Shane Battier and Jason Williams. That's an easy deal. Let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? I'll take Marcus Gasol. I think he started off on the team with us, Sydney. I don't really know at this point, but he's a good floor spacing center. So uh, let's try to get this thing done. Dampier and two first round picks. Will they say yes to this? And they will. There we go. And that's the team. And we got Russell Westbrook, Kobe Bryant, Jimmy Butler, Giannis on the Kumbo, and Shaq. Then on the bench, you got Devin Booker. We got Marcus Gasol, Jamal Mashburn, Chris Asperzingis, and Jason Terry. The starting lineup looks elite and off the bench we definitely have enough three-point shooting let's not waste any more time though let's get the simming and see what it's looking like I'm Ansu and 52 and 30, which I guess is good for a Legends League. Either way, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, MVP on the Lakers. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Anything forward to Charlotte Hornets? Yes, we did get something. Exec of the year. I guess we'll take that anyways. Let's keep it moving. What about the All-NBA teams? Let's go ahead and take a look at this here. Um, anything forward to Hornets? We do have Shaq, All-Defensive second team. And um, is that going to be it for us? I guess it is. Okay. So we're the top team in the Eastern Conference. That's definitely good to see. Our biggest competition in the conference is the Atlanta Hawks. Let's take a look at their team. Uh, they got Ron Harper. They got Sean Mary and George Mikan. We made a lot of trades with this team. So that's pretty funny. And the best team in the league is the Los Angeles Lakers, led by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. But uh, who else do they got? Jason Kidd, Mitch Richmond, and then uh, two guys here. I'm not going to butcher their name. I mean, it's all right, but I think we are better than them. Either way, though, let's take a very quick look at the stats. No one put up any crazy numbers because it is a stacked team. But Kobe Bryant led the way 18 points, three rebounds, eight assists, one still one block around up around here and um he shot 40 percent from deep what about the three-point shooting man russell westbrook 35 will actually take that then we got devin booker 45 percent we also got chris as 39 uh we got jamal mashburn 41 we got jason terry 40 i think we have like just enough three-point shooting but it probably is one of our bigger weaknesses either way let's take a look at the rest of this here shack 18 points 10 rebounds two assists one still two blocks uh yana 17 points seven rebounds seven assists also stealing two blocks that's really good uh, Russell Westbrook, 16 points, 6 rebounds, 9 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. And then our man got off the bench. No surprise here. It's Devin Booker. 15 points, 3 rebounds, 4 assists, and 1 steal. Make sure to pause it if you want to take a look at the rest of the stats. But let's not waste any more time, man. Let's get into this playoff run. Who are we going to face in the first round? Let's go ahead and find out. It's going to be the Boston Celtics. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the matchup here. As they got Kevin Johnson, Reggie Miller, Grant Hill, Chris Webber, and Moses Malone. I mean, it's a good team, but we beat them in pretty much every single matchup. So I feel good about our chances here. Let's go ahead and take this game by game per usual. As um, we win game one, that's good. Let's see. It is two to nothing us, uh, three to nothing us. Can we get the clean sweep? And we can. There we go. So now we're moving on to the second round. We're going up against the Miami Heat. Let's take a look at the matchup. As they got Steve Francis and Tracy McGrady in the backcourt. That's pretty funny. Two guys that got traded for each other in real life. Then they got Rick Barry, Andre Karolinko, and Bob Lanier. It's an okay team, but I think that we are better. Um, hopefully, I'm not going to jinx that. But we win game one. That's good. Let's see. It is two to nothing us. Uh, two to one. That's fine. I haven't shortened the rotation just yet, but yeah, it's two to two now. I definitely got to do that. So let me go ahead and move some things around. I'm going to make it a nine man rotation. And you know what? I'm actually going to start Devin Booker at the one because uh, he's shooting the ball really well. 48% from the floor, 40% from deep um, in the postseason. And Russell Westbrook, not so much, man. Yeah, I think we need some more three point shooting in the starting lineup. So I am going to do that. And then I'm going to take Jason Terry out the rotation. I feel pretty good about that. So let's go ahead and get into it here as um, did not mean to go simcast. That's my bad. But anyways, we are after to two can we close this thing out and we can okay so now we're moving on to the conference finals we're going up against the indiana pacers let's take a look at the matchup they got shea goldis alexander richie garen vince carter jerry lucas and chris kamen this is a pretty good team and i'm a little bit worried here uh but let's go ahead and get into it is a win game one that's good uh two to nothing guys let's see two to one yep that makes sense they didn't think i'd sweep them but can we get the gentleman sweep no we can't please no game seven and there we go so just like that we're moving on to the nba finals and it looks like we're gonna face the sacramento kings let's take a look at the matchup here as they got john stockton bill Sharman, carmelo anthony chris bosh and carl anthony towns that's an interesting team there but let's go ahead and get into this thing and uh see if we can win a championship so we win game one we lose game two uh two to one us three to one us can we close this thing out and we can there we go so the hornets have won the legends league and look who got finals mvp kobe bryant 18 points four rebounds 11 assists and two steals shout out to him this was definitely a lot of fun if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe again i'm trying to get the 3k subs every single like every single sub really does go a long way and i would appreciate it but anyways this has been 2kj blessings